Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, Mortis here, and welcome to The Ascent. The Ascent is an ARPG set in a cyberpunk, dystopian future sort of setting. It is an isometric, top-down-ish, uh, kind of twin-stick shooter, only I feel that it actually plays better with PC controls than it does with twin-stick, but that's just me. And it's a pretty fun ride so far. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start a new character. As you can see, I do have a character here. I played it a little bit. Now, I want to make a preface that on the time of this recording, co-op, specifically online co-op, is kind of borked. There are a lot of bugs. I know they are actively working on it. They actually just dropped a patch today that is supposed to fix at least some of them. But during the short time that I did play co-op, we had issues like uh, non-host players sometimes teleporting off the map or enemy AI behaving strangely only on one particular player's screen, or the host suddenly getting crashed back to the lobby after a cutscene. It was, you know, it's... This is an indie game developed by a team of like 11 people. So, you know, they are actively working on it. They're being very, very verbal about what they're trying to do. So I have hopes. I have hopes that we'll, uh, we'll have a good time. But we're going to go ahead and create a new game. We're going to play it offline, single player, and we're just going to kind of get a feel for things, you know? I look forward to this. Kind of gives me almost a Destiny-style vibe with the outfit, or maybe a little Warframe. But the aesthetic... Every cycle, thousands of hopefuls make planet fall on Velez. Velez? Velez? Most pay the hefty price of passage by contracting away their lives to the corporations as indentured laborers called indents. Hmm. Slaves in all but name. We were all thinking it. You are an indent with the Ascent Group, the largest corporation on Velez. Stuck in the deep, dank bowels of their massive arcology, you do the menial jobs that you're given. God, the aesthetics. Just beautiful. Counting off the cycles to the end of your contract or an early death, whichever comes first. Velez welcomed you with a hard kick to the groin, like it does everyone. But you're not down for the count just yet. I sincerely hope that's not me. Let's go ahead. <laughs> Let's go ahead and change this just a little bit, shall we? Uh, so you only have basic ability uh, available. Uh... Oh my. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. You only have basic available customization, which is fine. Go for that one there. Let's do a little facing. Uh, we'll go with that one. Body ink. What do we got here? We got some more hexagonal stuff. Got a full sleeve. We got whatever that is on his right arm. Ah, well, it's just... Do a connecting right there. Style, give me the colors. Main color, we're gonna go where a splice magenta because this is just the colors that I always go for in these sorts of games. Purple and green, Joker colors. That's the way we do it. Uh, let's see here. Blood Direct, Hydro Cat, Leo, Shirtless, Sleazy, Speed Crush, Techie, or White. Eh, let's go blood direct. All right, so we can go bald. We can go dreads. We can go dreadzer. Dreadzer. Hmm. Banboon. Can I rotate? There we go. Mohawk long. Uh huh. Mohawk short. Ponytail. Ponytail list. Or side comb. Could almost make a uh, Miller from uh, the Expanse. Let's go. 
Yeah, let's go with that. All right, what kind of colors can we do here? We can do a neon blue, neon a giant orange, a striped yellow, cyber blue. Cyber blue, da boo dee da boo da. Uh, well, let's, we're not gonna go with the same color. Let's actually go with white. Just a basic white, there we go. Weapon skins, default. I don't have any weapon skin unlocked. Creator, confirm. Have you finished your character? Yes, I have. And here I is. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Okay, this is obviously the tutorial, by the way. I can open the codex for the imp. Here we go. I have a codex. Spacebar to close. Beautiful. Fucking reason this morning. Evocite showering in manure. I want this fixed. Get it done before I end of cycle and I'll throw in a juicy bonus. I do enjoy juicy bonuses. Boni, bonusi, boni. Hmm. Got boxes, we got bugs. A little bit of everything here. All right, so the game does kind of both prod you along in a specific direction, but it kind of lets you explore at the same time, too, so... Kind of do... Ooh, a data pad. Uh, maintenance log. Everything is as functional and broken at the same time as always. The soups are doing their job. Flying scraps are welding the... Welding to their little sil silicon heart contents. And I still don't really get what the walking monos are up to. All in a day's work. Byron. I'm guessing he's talking about that. Just kind of walking around doing whatever. I see you watching me. Oh. Shake that booty. Alright. What do we got here? Left control is how you crouch. You hold spacebar to close. Reep. There we go. I have done the crouching. Oh, wait. Here we go. More crouching. Again, just look at the aesthetics of this. So this is just... For an 11-man team, this is phenomenal. Uh, we have something up here on the mini-map. Oh, there's a chest over there. Okay. Interact with objects using F. There are many types of interactables, but limited, not limited to people. Terminals, doors, and pickups. Okay. Let me in. Thank you. Then we have trash. Then we have bounding trash. Uh, press O at any time to let your system bring up your currently tracked objective, a navigation projection on the ground, and if you stand still, a map of your surrounding. So I press O. Okay. If I hold O for the map. No? Okay. Alright, so we have boxes up here. You can roll into them to break them and get some monies. I got 18 U creds. And open this guy up. Oh, hello, friend. Map segments. Acquire more map segments as you reach new zones. Your imp will automatically survey and download the relevant maps for the current zone and store them in your journal. Hello. <laughs> so, they finally sent back up. Guess the problem was to reach the stop tops or boom would have left me here to be scavenged rogues. I'm trauma. Hope you came armed. I mean, I have two of them. As I've locked itself into a recursive void loop, whatever caused it's beyond that door, together with a whole lot of ferals who came out of nowhere, took a fat bite out of my thigh. Was all I could do to crawl in here and put the room in lockdown. We'll help out, right? Ah, uh, ferals? The suits down here, and hungry too. What is this? I. Sentient intelligence operating this here ultra complex machinery. Now, we're talking the most basic forms of sentience. It's not an AGI. Fair enough. The way back's clear now, right? Right. I'm gonna hobble back upstairs, find cheap soup poon, and... Well, do nothing, I guess. I'll fix the lockdown. Good luck. Thank you, whoever you are. Have a nice day. 
I have snacks. I can buy snacks for creds. I'm not going to buy snacks for creds. Data! Fuck me, you were right. I shouldn't have fallen for it. A new life. Get a job with the Ascent Group. The trip to Velez and everything set up. All I have to do is work... Work of... Work off. The debt as an indent. I got here. I got a job. And I guess you could call what I have a home. But it's nothing like a ADS, ads, odds, ads, font, weird font. I live in a dump run by a maniac and I work at a place worse than that. Gotta take more than the rest of my life to pay it off. The silver lining is that everyone here is in it together. And some are fucked in, and in some fucked up way, we're making it work. I've found some good people. Better than the folks back home. Let's talk soon on Hollow, okay? I don't know why it zoomed in on me there, but, uh, sure. Alright, so where does it want me to go? It wants me to go that away. so we'll go that away. Oh, more boxes to destroy. Hello. up Give me all the monies. 340 U-creds. Hacking environment. Hack everything with, within Cyberdeck Reach by holding C. Many objects in the world require a Cyberdeck capable of hacking that particular type. What a what your cyberdeck can hack can be read in the journal's character screen, and most things hackable in the world are indicated by a, the color yellow. Doors and chests can even be protected by more and more complicated ice, so, and as such require a more powerful cyberdeck. Uh, upgrade your deck and increase its capabilities by finding cyberdeck upgrades in the world. So if I come over here, it's yellow, so I can go bleep, and I'm in. And now I have a pistol. So there are two fire methods. There's the regular just shoot. Which, as you could very much guess, is just shooting. If I do this, that is not actually aiming. What is that? What that, that is doing is you are firing over objects. So you're raising your gun high to shoot over cover and such, and you know. So say if I took, let me grab this money real quick. If I, no, hang on. Shoot and reload. Yes, yes, yes. Or are you just going to throw me into the cop? Okay. Whoop. Anyways, as I was saying, if I were, say, crouched down here, I couldn't technically fire over this railing if it was actually a wall, you know. So I'd have to do this. And now, as you can see, I'm aiming over top of it. So that's kind of how that works. I didn't mean to hack, I meant to press, uh... <sighs> I'm not going to get into the whole control versus C thing, but... You know. You also... Seem to have to take terrain into... To, uh... You have to take terrain into consideration when you're shooting. Because apparently shooting down or shooting up, like, from right here... As you can see... Wouldn't be able to shoot. But if I lift, now I'm shooting. Down here, it seems like there is a... Like, a level in which I can't shoot down large, you know, low enough. It's kind of like, if you think of it kind of like a, uh, a tank. You only have so much traversal. Access denied. Can I hack it? I cannot. It's alright, we can move forward. See what we got coming up here. Nothing on the radar yet. Oh, hello. Uh-huh. See, so because I'm right-clicking there, I'm able to shoot up, ah, as you can see. Aim high by holding right-click to shoot over small enemies and obstacles. You can also inflict more stagger while lifting your gun. But they're short, so I'm not actually hitting them if I raise up right now. <laughs> There doesn't seem to be any ammo capacity, from what I've been able to tell so far. It's more of just, you know, how many shots you can fire before you have to reload. We got here, access. Access? Oh, I gotta hold it. Ooh. 
protocols is valid. End report. This is Boone. We're waiting around in feces up here. Can you send me reports about neurotic energy fluctuations? You have one job. Get it done. I've uploaded the SI access override codes. Don't ping me again until it's done. All right, Poon. Alternate system access code. Down Listen. Installing. Uh huh. Done. Revising work order task list. Done. Tasks. Replace external interface circuitry. Purge memory banks. Reset defaults. End. You know, those are kind of cheaply made if I could do that in a single shot. Just saying. Alright, so one thing that I learned, yes, you can crouch through all this, or you can just simply dodge roll through it. Takes a lot less time. Oh, you are not a person, or you're not an enemy, I guess. Break that. All right, so we got stuff that way, but we got enemies over here and more money to collect. Go ahead and break through those, grab some more dosh. Break through that. What is this? A health pack. I am at full capacity. I do not need the health. And then we have money. I always enjoy money. Ooh, you almost got shot, sir. You almost- Sir, 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 sir. He's coming right for me. All right, break this stuff, get more money. Is there anything up here that's interesting? Uh, doesn't look like it. Since this is the tutorial, I'm not going to do a whole lot of exploration just because that's kind of wasting time. We're trying to get into the meat of the game. Whoop. Whoop. Okay, just a robot. Let's go ahead and access this. Stop looking at me. Stop looking at me. Stop it. All right, what do we got over here real quick? Anything shiny or new? No? Okay. You were in my way. I couldn't avoid it. Collateral damage and all that. As far as I know, I don't have to pay for those robots, so it's okay. All right, so... Oh, check it, check these things out, like, little weird crawly worker bugs. Not sure what they do, but they're there. They are definitely present. Alright, so I'm gonna go this way first just to break this box real quick. There we go, more money. Then we have, oh, hi, how you doing? Uh, neutrals, be cautious around people in dangerous areas. Some people don't attack on sight. Uh... S-I-G-H-T, and will let you leave. If you don't, be ready for a fight. Leave or regret staying. What'd you say to me? Ah, look at that. Hold to equip. Tap to pick up weapons, or hold to immediately equip them. Rip. Uh, weapon swap. Use the scroll wheel. You change your loadout in the journal. Now, as you can see, I'll hold down the button to fire. It will not automatically reload until I let go of the button. Always good to make sure that you are paying attention. And free health pickup. I didn't need it because I didn't get hurt. Also, give me more money. That is not money, that is a hat. I'm putting on the hat. Okay, so I think this is one of our accesses. Yes, it is. Memory purge initiated. Purge complete. Resetting to default. Done. SI ready for 
for reboot. Alright, so now we gotta head over yonder. Excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me. Wait. Aha. I'm going the wrong way. Move. That's right, you better run. He, he fell over. <laughs> Alright, so I can't actually, sh like, if I come down here and aggro these guys, can't shoot them until they come up to my level. Don't run at me when I'm firing at things. What's wrong with you? That was exploding. As was that. <laughs> Beautiful. There we go. Do, do, do. Just casual run through. Nothing to see here. Hello, friends. Oh, I've actually taken damage. It can be done. That's all right. I am back to full health. Through the power of magic and stimulants, I am healed. And we appear to have some more guys over here. Almost feel like the pistol for these small guys is a lot easier. Oh, hello. Ooh, how do I... I want that. How do I get to that? Welcome to the journal! Uh, so it's up there. I don't see... A way... Well, you can get up there... Oh man, I'd have to like go all the way around. Nah. Too much work. There is no sprint, by the way, in case people were wondering. Are you... Why are you stretching? You're a robot. I'm very confused. Alright, so we're heading back down here. Heading over yonder. And we're back! Hey, buddy! I thought you were leaving. You fixed the problem. Good. Now, just reboot the damn thing and let's call it a day. The SI interface terminals past that hollow door across the room. I've recovered enough to hobble out to you. Thanks, mate. Let's have a drink when you get back upstairs. I'll be at the punk bladder. The punk bladder. Data pad, turn off. Oh, it's just the screen, okay. Alright, let's head on over here. Pop these, there we go, more money. Two, a whole two U-creds. And now, we'll do the thing. Hooray! The poop is safe. I know I promised you a bonus, but you know how it is. Revenue is below targets, quotas haven't been met, my hands are tied, yada yada, take your pick. Now get it back here. There's a lift in East Stack that's acting up. Ah, uh, almost forgot. If you run into a worse Shylar kid named Trummer down there, you can tell that slaghead he's on my eternal ship list. Poon out. Poon out. You want me to go that way, but I want to go this way. What's over this way? It's over here. Is there anything interesting or worthwhile over here? There is not. <laughs> I have been denied. Alright, so let's go ahead and make our way back. Just 
kind of rough up the place while- ooh, I forgot about these. Money! Oop, hello. There was nothing on that dead body. Also, there was a dead body. I'm not sure if I should be concerned about that. That doesn't sound great. That doesn't sound great at all. Not sure if that is harmful to me, not gonna find- oh! Oh! Nice. Uh, locate stoppage, likely area sub-level 23, zone 2, clear stoppage. Do not use instant insta rinse or the pipes will corrode. I'm trying to click end. My apologies for scaring you. A shockwave grenade. Tactical. Tactical equipment range from grenades to robots. Deploy a tactical with G and press G again to detonate in advance. To deploy a tactical, it's required that the tactical charge is full. It's filled by causing damage to enemies. Okay. Cool. So, it is not full now, I take it. Uh, I guess I'll go this way. Hi, how you doing? RUN! Oh god, there actually are enemies, okay. I have leveled up! Level up. Leveling up! Completing missions, collecting bounties, and defeating enemies gain you XP. When leveling up, you grow stronger, more damage, and are rewarded with new skill points. And you also get full health, which is super nice. So how do I get new skill points? Is it in here? Nope. In here. Uh, character tab. Just gonna skip over that. So we have skills. Okay, so I have three skill points that I can put into tactical sense, critical hit rate, weapon handling, aiming, balance, evasion, vital signs, and body battery. Max capacity, max health, evasion cooldown. Uh, resistance to stuns, knockbacks, and staggers. Uh, why spread recovery rate, reload weapon swap, critical hit rate, that's kind of obvious. Uh, we're going to do, for now, two into vital, one into, or one into vital, two into weapon handling. There are bounties. I have no bounties. There is the TA Lifestyle Cyberdeck that I currently have that can only analyze. It can't do doors, chests, ATM, turrets, or miscellaneous. There are other pages. Loadouts! Weapons are sorted by their mark levels. I currently have two weapons. And a shockwave grenade. Then there's armor. So we have currently a supervisor hat, which gives us whatever this is. So I'm guessing physical, electric, something and fire resistance, whatever this may be. Huh, figure that out as time goes. We have nothing in our torso and we just have some pantaloons on. So there we go. Thing of beauty. Oh, I also have more health. Ah! I've already lost my more health. But you know what? I bet you I can rectify that. What did I just pick up? Tactical charge. Oh, so that charged my grenade. Okay. So the yellow is tactical charges. Let's test out a grenade if we can. Oh, that's a, that's a stun grenade. That's not an actual grenade grenade. Good to know. Beautiful. I'm getting all sorts of paid for this. I don't know what, uh... Oop. I don't know what you creds are actually worth. Like, am I getting a lot? Am I getting a little? Probably a little.
friggin' ferals, man. Friggin' ferals. Touching me. Didn't ask for this. What you got on you? A weapon skin camo one. Okay. Doesn't look like that applied to anything, but maybe it's... Maybe it's a specific type of weapon? I don't know. There we go, a nice little chunk of health. Howdy boys! You should all run! <laughs> what is this? Basic component. Upgrading weapons. All weapons can be upgraded if you have the required components. Visit a gunsmith to upgrade any weapon currently owned to the next mark level. Uh, each level increases the damage. Weapon upgrades are persistent across all duplicates of that particular one. Even if you sell any currently owned P1 protector, the game will remember that you remember your mark if you get a new one. Which is super nice. Let us extend the platform. Not sure what's over here, but I'm going to check it out. I, I've literally been here before. This is just... I'm, I'm back to... Uh, okay. So I've opened up a shortcut. Fantastic. Anything over here before I move on? Nope, because I cannot hack that. Pop this open. There we go. Shut it again. The waste cycling ne recycling network. Oh boy. Thank you. I feel like this thing right here, it had a problem. It came from over there, now it's over here, and it's on fire. As is everything else. But not me, though. Oop. Nothing on him. Ooh, a chesticle. Alright, so we got a bunch of health packs. And we have... A F-20 Quad Crusher Rig. Ooh. Ooh. It's like Megalobox armor. Alright! Roll! Oh wait, those are literally my arms. Oh, hello! This seems like a slight issue. Papa Feral. <laughs> Whoa, what are those? Ow! Trying to do enough damage so I can get a stun grenade going here. Stun grenade is a go. We'll wait for him to get here. Boom! It didn't stun him. It did not stun him. Uh oh! I'm clicking. There we go. Beautiful. Money, 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 money. Fourteen seventy-eight. I will take it. Oh wait. Wait, I see it. I see it. Wait for it. Ah, 17 more. Wait, can I search this body? Nope, it is static. Ah, uh, we got a chest. What do you got for me? Hydraulic slam. 
Augmentations can be bought and found. They give the new abilities and work even better if they sync well with your skills and attributes. Install augmentations via the journal uh, or by visiting your grafter. Doing it without the grafter's touch will deplete your energy. You can find new augmentations in the world from enemies or buy them from the grafter. Neato. I'm just going to casually go back here real quick because I seem to recall that there was a lot of health packs and my health is low. So I now have the ground slam. All right, good. Oop. Which, if I press Q, goes like that. And you can see down here at the bottom right, that little blue bar is the indicator for my energy. It slowly refills over time. I can get stuff to make that go faster. But... Yep, there you go. Execute augmentation abilities with Q and E. Augments deplete energy on use, but energy regenerates slowly over time. Some abilities automatically... Uh, da, 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 da. Basically exactly what I was just talking about. But hey, look at that. We just got free energy. Blue is energy. Yellow is grenade. Not sure what red is yet. Oh, hang on. Beep. Didn't actually need to hack it, just need to beep it. But I beeped it. Alright. 69 U creds. Nice. Alright, let's test this thing out. Bah! <laughs> it eviscerated. I don't have the energy. I'd have to imagine that the red canister there is just a little health pick-me-up. Doesn't do anything too major, but it's just enough to get you going. Uh, I can't go this way. I do appreciate the fact that there is, at least right now... Anyways. I appreciate that at least for right now, there is no ammo count. I don't think it would actually work well that way. So what do we got going on over here? It wants me to go that way, but I'm going to go up here and just check this out real quick. See if there's any reason not to. Can I run off the edge is the big question. I cannot. It is good enough to keep me from doing the dumb. All right. Camera transition's a little weird. But I appreciate the fact that they're trying to show me that this is a fully 3D world. I guess I'll go to the Warrens. Uh, choose your destination, the Warrens. I don't want to live in a future where there is still Muzak. And here I am in the Warrens. The Deep Stink is where I just came from. Fantastic. So, I want to show you a couple of things first off. Uh, under display. Not display, my apologies. Graphics! You will notice, first off, I am running everything on Ultra. I am using DX12. You could, it's, It defaults to DX11. You can switch to DX12 if you think that your system can handle it. Also, turning it on to DX12 allows you to enable ray tracing if you so desire, but I do not because my 2060 cannot handle ray tracing. Like, I have about 90 frames right now. If I turn these on, it'll be down to about 30. Doesn't work very well. 
Uh, still have film grain on just for the aesthetic reasons. CPU performance mode. I have a beefy CPU. I'm not worried about it. Physical objects, of course. There is also DLSS. I have it set to balanced. I could do quality, but I find that balanced just kind of... I don't know. It feels a little bit better, all in all. It feels to have less little hitches here and there. But again, I think that has to do more with my C with my uh, graphics card than anything. Can I break these? Look at that! More free money! Y'all didn't even know the money was here, did you? <laughs> Buy money now, fools! But just look at the aesthetics of this place. This is just amazing. It is a gorgeous design. Oh, I bumped into him, bumped into you. Yes, Bubba Dende, I see more potential money! Yoink. Y'all just sitting on creds, you don't even know it. Oh, we got the police over here. Apparently they had an accident. That's fine. I'm literally stealing people's money. <laughs> Fantastic. And I love that. The uh, the uh, NPCs actually, like, bounce off of each other, too. It's not just me going, blunk, and they're going, oh, oh. They'll actually bomb off each other. It's pretty cool. Uh, where do you want me to go? You want to go down yonder? I have no idea what this thing is. And I, Oh, God, look at the size of those guns. That's the sound of the police. Can I, can I touch this guy? I literally... I hope you don't mind just touching your stuff. Bonk. High Street, Tranquility Park, Maintenance Sector. So we're gonna come down here to High Street. Kinda check things out a little bit. How's everybody doing down here? I would assume default mode is a good thing. Alright, we're transitioning here. The pod lot. Maybe the ferals have gotten smart and built something, like a huge feral mech. All chrome and fur. Ooh. Alright. A little bit of flavor happening all over the place. We're just gonna keep following where they want us to follow. Are you T-posing or stretching? I can't tell. Yes, I do wish that my rig could handle ray tracing on to get, like... I can imagine it would look gorgeous on this game. Oh god, just infinite loop of running into each other. Look out! Coming! Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. The one thing that I have noticed that this game does sometimes have a slight issue with is... I don't know if it is object or texture streaming, but especially like with the cutscene right there, when it transitioned from one place to another immediately, you saw that a couple of the textures or a couple of the uh, static objects didn't actually show up for the first like half a second. You'll notice that happen every once in a while. Got Trenning himself there with you? No? Then piss off. Okay. All right, so we are heading upward and onwards. Onwards and upwards. How you doing? So I heard there's this genius hardware guy out there, a Carlin, does all the mods for our top speed crush racers. Other stuff tool. Uh, you install his shit and man, it's like tip top performance. You're on like all the damn time. But they say he's a bit of a practical joker too. Builds these little personality tweaks into his mods that only he knows about. Like, I hear he's really into the color red, you know? And not just like any red, but this deep, dark, crimson blood shade of red. So apparently, you install his shit, like there's like a 15% chance you start wearing more red. Crazy, right? It's like the whole world's his canvas, and that's just how he signs his name. Fancy. Did I knock you off? Aw. <laughs> That would be hilarious. All right, where I'm still going this way. Okay, good. 
Howdy boys, how you doing? Ah, I think I'm going into here. That's the morgue. I don't think I'm going into there. At least to my knowledge. Oh, what? Okay, what is this? This is the feed with your very own Grateful Abbott. The Ascent Group went into immediate default after the corporate AI filed for bankruptcy one subcycle ago. All attempts to contact the corporate board has failed. And we've yet to receive an official statement. The Ascent Group Arcology on Velas has shut down, with some claiming it's gone into default mode. If this is true, without AG security, corporate grab teams will already be moving in on the lock tool. As I always say, one being's ill fortune is another's opportunity. Stay tuned. Lawhammers in Cluster 13, this is Poon. As you've probably noticed, our dear Arcology just defaulted. I don't give a feral's ass about the whys and wherefores. Business will go on as usual. That means no panic, no whining, and certainly no slacking off. Business as usual. Understood? Poon out. Poon out. Alright. I level! Let's go ahead and get our levels on. Skills. Uh... I really don't know what I need. Truth be told. So I have cybernetics, motorics, biometrics, and frame. I have no frame, apparently. Hmm. Alright, so we have done two in a weapon handling, one into vital. Let's do... One into evasion, one into crit, and let's get a little more health in there. That'll do. Okay. Where are we going? Where the fuck have you been? Forget about that Isaac lift. We got much bigger problems. Come find me at the Serenity Plus. The Serenity Plus. Hello, friend. How are you? Cap mugs to hand out. I'll let you know, okay? Why the hostility, Poon? All I'm saying is that we should stick together in a time of crisis and that we're here to help in any way we can. And all I'm saying is that I don't see how you can help right now. The Ascent Group is gone and the board has gone quieter than a null spaced column. Maybe you people should start looking to what's next. The Ascent Group is not just the board, Poon. It's us. All of us. United around an idea. The corporation can only collapse if we allow it. Whatever. An idea won't feed my indents or provide security when Corpsick gets wise to the fact that their paychecks aren't coming. Now, you'll have to excuse me. My next meeting just arrived. Fine. We'll talk again later, Poon. Okay. I'm just here now. Hello, Poon. Cinder idiots. Oh, look at you. Positively bristling with ambition and a taste for mindless violence. Just what I need. My PA before was pure bullshit. This is a crisis supernova. The Ascent Group has collapsed. Our ecology's gone into default, and we've lost contact with the board. Not that I expect those sleek suits to be able to unfuck this situation in any meaningful way. No one is getting paid, and Corpsick will soon realize that they're risking their necks for exactly zero Eucharists. We can expect security to implode before the cycle is over. The Ascent Group AGI suddenly went quiet. That's never happened before. So the market went apeshit and forced the Ascent Group into immediate bankruptcy. Now all local SIs are operating independently. Hundreds of optimizer protocols fighting for the same scraps. We're gonna see nutrient and energy shortages within just a few cycles. Thousands of hebbers here will suffer. Am I painting a bleak enough picture for you? 
We're mutually dependent on the neighboring clusters for food, energy, and other essentials. It pains me to say this, but it looks like we're gonna have to cooperate our way out of this epic mess. The other stack bosses have agreed to meet. They're a bunch of incompetent hard noses, so don't get your hopes up. But I don't see any other options, and my imp won't shut up about this being the only way forward. I want you to handle security for the moot. In a crisis like this, you can always expect to see a few witless wonders stepping up to bat. The Turbo Vipers are already trying on a protection racket so stupid it defies comprehension. Questions? Shoot. They're threatening to attack the meeting, and I want you there if they do. The latest cream of the scum crop out there. With everything going on, they're seeing an opportunity to strengthen their stock. But I won't allow that on my watch. Can't give in to the imbeciles. The board. I expect they're busy ejecting themselves from this mess and assigning blame to everyone else. Sounds about right. First they run the entire corporation into the ground, and then they shut themselves into the sky view levels. But I guess that's what you can expect from a bunch of greedy forums. All right, enough questions. First, I need you to go to the grinder and scout ahead. Oh, and you'll need to gear up. Won't just be facing deep sink ferals anymore. Talk to my man Clobber. He'll set you up. Feel free to flatline any slag-headed turbo viper just looking at you sideways. Here, good. Let's get this show on the road. Poon has got some great voice acting, by the way. Side missions. There are plenty of people on Velez looking for help. Accept optional side mission missions by talking to people with the side mission icon. Choose what mission to track by setting it as the active in the journal uh, on the mission and uh, map and mission tab. Uh, more people will be looking for help over time. Oh, so we already have one. Hello. You must be Poon's latest pet project. He warned me you'd stop by. Looks like he picked that gear from a Warren's garbage dump. An upgrade is deaf in order. Here, I've sent you markers for a grafter, an armor, and a guy and a weapons dealer. Check in with them and get some polish on your frame. This is your lucky fucking day, because I also I'm also gonna give you a handout. A little something to get you started, courtesy of Poon. And please try to exceed my non-existent expectations by not spending it all on snooze and chrome dome bets. Off you go. Woohoo! Data pad. There's been a shootout over at E-Stack. Gather all organics for recycling and clean up any residual fluids. All useful items should be given to Clobber. I'll find out if you kept anything to yourself, and I'll add you to the recycling queue. Poon. Alright, cool. So, apparently I already have something over here? No. I gotta go this way first. Oh, and we got another side mission. It looks to be down there. Okay. Let's go check out what this little side mission is over here. Hello, little one. You're Poon's errand runner, aren't you? See you or seen you around. I'm Antine. Got an errand for you if you're interested. It's just some fact finding. Sure, why not? Uh, I need you to find a kin of mine. Last seen in transit to the morgue. Yes, of course she's dead. What do you think? I'm stupid. She's dead and her corpse is gone, and it's a fucking tragedy, all right? First, my buddy Tim joins Aitko, so I never see his sorry ass again. Then Udina Undina goes and fucking croaks on me. Whoops. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we're just going to skip through all that. Find your friend. Gotcha. I have more important things to do right now, I think. How do I get out? Up here. My bad. All right, go to the Grinder District. Looks like there's... Oh, a purple item up there. How do I get up there, I wonder? Through here? Through there. It's locked. I probably have to... Okay. Hi, how you doing? Da -da 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 -da. But I can open this. Eco 10 or E10 Speed Crush Team Jacket. Oh, hang on. That actually changed. Oh. Alright. Uh, armor. Torso. So that gives me 8820-5500. This guy. 
Oh, no, okay, so that's how you... So the right is what I would get if I put the quad crusher ring back on. So this guy is more for dexterity. This one has five in evasion and one in aiming. This one has five in... body? Something? Details. Head, upper body. Okay, so that's just protection. So this offers no protection, but it gives you evasion. Let me go with the quad crusher, just to be on the safe side. Augments. Alright, we only have one augment so far, the hydraulic slam. No modules, we have the maps. Oh god. Alright, so we have a legend, that's good. We are currently... Can I recenter our focus player? There we go, so I am here. There are multiple missions. There is... Whatever this blue guy is, armor... Weapons, cyber, so I can go down here, it looks like, and purchase. And the guns are over here. Grafter is up there. Alright, so. Let's head back over here real quick. Check out the weapons. Wait. Is this not... Am I misread? Oh, it's way down there. It's all the way down at the bottom. Okay, it'd be nice to have an elevation of some descript. You know what? Ah, oh, well. We're gonna go with what we currently have because, uh, if I remember correctly, this is pretty simple. Go over here real quick and see what this side mission is. But we can't. Ah, here it is. Hi, how you doing? You there, yes you, the one standing around gawking awkwardly at the magnificence you see before you. Yes, it's true, we're on the verge of a breakthrough here, one of the biggest ever in the history of science. Beazle Cheeks is my name, and what we're trying to do here is, well, it has to do with the teleportation, you see. I have a new field generator here, and what it does is rather than teleport a person or object, well, it keeps them, it just keeps them in that in-between state instead, rattles their molecules, so to speak while they remain in stasis. Enough rattling and well, kablooey! Of course, we just need to do a tad bit more information here before the tech is perfected and ready for sale. So what do you say? Can you head out into the field, give us a little bit more data? I mean, I'm going out into the field anyways. Well, that's just fantastic, my boy, fantastic! What we need specifically is some real-time combat data from out and about. Just get out and out there, put some bodies, baddies into stasis, and just keep on keep it on, even after stasis has been achieved. I mean, really, just rev it up and see what happens. The more pressure you apply, the better. We need to push it to the utmost extremes. Of course, there's a very good chance that our subjects may not survive this data collection process. But hey, it's all in the name of science, right? Well, that and money. That helps too. So you do your part. Uh, good in history as an accomplice to my genius. Just head back this way once you've had enough test subjects, and we'll see what we can do. That sounds... terrible. And awesome. All at the same time. Alright, looks like we have augments or something over here. Uh, Cyber Vendor, what you got? I don't have that many to begin with. Uh, Tacticals, Frag Grenade... GX-43 Sweet Justice, a lethal grenade, causes a sudden gravity fold, which will crush anything within range. Wow. It's also expensive as hell. Shockwave grenade, I already have that. Do I have more than one? Can I sell more than one? Hang on. Nope, I cannot sell that one. Alright. Uh, I can buy a regular frag grenade. That would be most of my funds, though, so, nah. Let's take a look at the armor real quick. Armor rating. Every piece of armor gives individual rate defense rating for each damage type. Make sure to equip armor best suited for the type of incoming damage you want protection from the most. It's also very important that you keep up the level of quality armor uh, as you start encountering enemies of higher level. A lower defense rating will be very punishing against stronger enemies. You, it is usually a wise investment. Armor could also provide passive boost to attributes and proficiencies. 
Hello, let me shop. Expecting a beating. Expecting a beating. Well, <laughs> generally. All right, so the headgear that I currently have is the supervisor, which gives me. Hang on, let me see here. D show details. Physical damage and fire damage project protection. That only does fire. That does energy and digital. That does digital and fire. That only does digital. Well, I, I'm more concerned about everything else. So what I currently have on is 888820. Don't see anything of interest there. Lower body. What I'm currently wearing gives me nothing but evasion. So I think we want to get something a little better for that. Uh, we could round out the damage protection if we do that. Or... actually, that's not bad. Get some shiprigger pants. And that gives us a little more energy to play with. Let's do that. We can go up here, we can go to sell. Uh, actually, no reason to sell right now. We'll hang on to stuff. Cool. Now, where am I going? Back this way. Down here. Gotcha. Clone! Glorious clone! They all look just like me. Ooh, weapons. Uh, visit vendors to buy and sell goods. New goods become available over time, so be sure to revisit vendors from time to time. Low on creds, have seven pistols you're not using? Why not sell them? For extra resources and invest in a new shiny pain maker. This here will take out a full chrome if need be. Okay. Uh, so we have sidearms and machine guns. What do you have for the, we have the dread. The dread sounds amazing. I can't afford it yet. What if I... Sell those. Now I can afford the dread. Beautiful. All right. So, let's go ahead and equip the Dread. Bounties, loadout, primary. Primary is the pistol. Secondary, what is this? Bit, split. Uh... Damage type, it looks like it does... Oh, what was that? That was kinetic damage or something like that? I think that goes against robots. These do ballistic damage. Slightly worse uh, knockback and rounds per second. More damage, though. Yeah, why not? Sweet. All right. And now we're out of here. Do, do, do. Well, thank you. Random voice in my head. Unfortunate. Down we go, and we are now in the bad zone. I got pants. And a gun. Run away! Are we going to have an issue? <laughs> oh, I got another dread. I can sell that later. Nice. Help. Stuck in the trash. There we go. Woohoo! 
Do a little cover shooting here. That was a civilian. That was a civilian. It's fine. Just a slight collateral damage. Nothing to fear. What do we got in here? Ooh. More basic component. Beautiful. Anything of interest up here? We got more boxes, more boxes. Yeah, more boxes. Oh, you can just walk right into me. You don't even have to dodge roll. Okay. That is good to know. Hi, how you doing? What's going on in here? <gasps> Gambling? ATM? Ah. He ran in front of my gun. I just want everyone to know that. What does the ATM do? It bleep bloops. Very well. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Bra! Evaporate. Running through the boxes, gonna get myself some money. <laughs> More basic. Oh, there's stuff in there. Can I get in? Uh, yes, I can over here. Uh, the Turbo Vipers are becoming more and more aggressive, and it feels like they'll actually have control of the rooftops as well soon. We'll have to start thinking about pulling the back the Blossom Hills soon. Blossom Hills. Money, 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 money. Dollars, dineros, cash, moolah, loving it all. Is there a side mission over here? No, I think that's just pointing out from the city itself. Let's see if anything is up here. Hi, how you doing? Did I just like take an alternate route? Weird. Use 99 creds. What does that give me? I'm curious. One time. Oh, okay. So that gives me little blue balls. Or things. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm talking about. What's under here? What's under here? I see a chesticle. Where is it? What do you move? I see loot! Weapon skin art deco. Pardon me, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. Yes, more component. Everybody move! I didn't mean move with me. I'm supposed to move the opposite direction that I'm going. Wanda's plug and play. Oh my. Hi, I'd like to pass. Can I pass? Hello? Hmm. Can I... Sir, hello? I would like to... I would like to go now, please? Okay. How do I... How do I get through, then? Sorry. I feel like I need to talk to somebody here in order to get through that, but I could be wrong. This may be a bug. I don't know yet. We'll find out. Maybe there's another path that I could take. Doesn't look like it, though. No. Oh, but there is this way. All right. I'm sorry, were you saying something? My apologies. Get away from me! See, they take cover too. Pretty cool. Uh 
Unfortunately for them, I'm better. Saw that money. Gonna get it in a second, just kind of looking over. Guys, guys, you really don't want to do this, guys. All right. <laughs> I warned ya! Didn't I warn ya? Don't need health. Alright, let's go get that money and press on. Hi, how you doing? What's going on with this little guy right here? He's in the floor. I shot a civilian again. Come on out, let's talk. Did you just say I'm Poon's new pet? Hmm. Not sure how I feel about this. That sounds terrible. It's locked! Ah, oh, Ice one. I can't touch it. Saddest of pandas. Alright, let's head upstairs. God, the level design is just gorgeous! Uh, covers! During combat crouching, behind cover can be your key to survival. Aim high, yada yada yada. So I can just come right here and go Brrr. Or I can just eradicate them. Oh, hang on. I think I can steal from these. Come back! There is a vehicle inside the vehicle. Let's not talk about it. Oh! Aha! You'll never take me from behind the trash! I was supposed to put them in stasis or something, and I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. Oop. Oh, there's health back there. I should probably grab that. There we go. Yeah, that does a very small 20% or 20 health. There we go, that's more like- ow! Rude. Another dread? Another dread to sell? Oh, there's somebody else over here. Let's find them. Deadski. boxes. I'm just... I'm... It's Dark Souls, man. It's Dark Souls that makes you just roll through those.
All right, so we got to deal with this last guy here. There we go. I'll take that health. Thank you. Oh, there's a shiny up here. I almost missed a shiny. Do, 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 do. Yoink. What is this? Use 149 creds. Uh, how much do I have? Ah. All right, so that just gives me a big old honking health. So big health, blue, small health. Gotcha. Learning as we go, it's fine. Run at me when I'm in cover? What's wrong with you, sir? Oh, we got a weapon skin, art deco again. Still haven't actually seen that apply to anything, so I have to imagine it's, I don't know, specific weapon type. Not sure why you're running. You'll only die tired. I appreciate that you guys just kind of ran out in the line like that. This guy is not going to be dumb. I'm going to have to go to him. <laughs> that is a phenomenal outfit, sir. I just wanted you to know. Oh, we got another bit. We got another bitten bob over here. Yoink. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I love the fact that they don't care at all, that I'm just walking through, busting up their stuff, and stealing the creds that come out of it. What do you produce? Yellow, okay. Good to know. Good to know. Uh-oh! Uh, sir, sir, sir. Hmm. I feel like that was on him. Uh, do we have anything else interesting over here? Decidedly not. All right. Let us make our way up and over yonder ho. What? I have no idea what blood means. So you're saying I should kill them all. I approve of this and thank you for your suggestion. How did you live? Oh, ow, ow, ow. Dude. Got a shotgun or something. All right, beautiful. Moving swiftly onward. Give me that money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so I picked up a new uh, armor here. Let's check that out. What? Wait, what is interesting? Black market canary and U plus. Neat. Load out. Not load out. You. So we're gonna go for torso. Let's see what this provides. Five, ten, zero, three, five, and one. Or no, the speed... Okay, no, I'm sorry. 
That is what this provides, which is garbage. So we're going back to this. You're adorable when you just come running up at me. Were you just waving? Beautiful. All right. Moving forward, smashing boxes, getting more money. You guys got eviscerated because your friend hit me once. I just want you to know that. Ah, woo! How did you survive that, sir? How did you survive the explosion? Holy crap. Skills! We got three more. Let's go for... Uh, we're going to put two into balance this time. We're always going to put one into... Oh, I put it into evasion, not vital. I was going to say, we're always going to put it into vital, but now I just, uh... Completely negated that. So, let's just move on. Approaching Tranquility Park, a.k.a. Grinder. 1,387 beings, 36% of which are indent, and the rest non-reg habitators. Violent incidents, including murders, registered at an all-time high last quarter. Huh. Did he just martyred him? Another dread. How many dreads am I going to have by the end of this? What is this? Uh, I don't think I want to go that way. Or do I? It looks like there's a couple of chests up there, potentially. Or the chests on... Eh? Let's check it out real quick. Nope. However, a new skin. Where am I? Oh, I'm in the middle of literally nowhere. Interesting. Oh, they are level 13! I should not be here! My apologies, friends. I am leaving immediately. Aye. Good to know. Good to know. I am hurt. All right, are there any health pickup things? Grenade and a riot gun. A riot gun? Riot gun. A ballistic shotgun. Alright. We'll give it a go. Bad at spread, obviously. Oh wait, no, let this guy get closer. getting so many dreads. Boy, I need health. Boy, I need health. Well, this is kind of bad. I need... I need to find health. 
Ah! I did not find health. Let's see where it places me now. Uh... Okay, so I'm not that far off from where I was. A defender, a hab defender, PPW. All right. Ah, oh, not again. Okay. What was that about automated defenses? Hang on a second. Codex. Enemies. Automated defenses. Uh, da, 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 da. A reasonably skilled hacker with a cyberdeck might be able to subvert them for their own agenda. Almost guaranteed that that is not me in any way, shape, or form. Why does this have a health bar? That is... mildly disconcerting. Also, those. Just kind of in general. Alright, so we're coming. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Wow. Is there stealth? Let's find out if there is stealth. Apparently not. Oh, that's a big boy. Wow! Hey, hey, hey! Can we not? Did they reset or something? I mean, I'm okay with that, but weird. Oh, he's on fire! I appreciate this. Nice. Alright, so that's one of the full chromes. All right, we're going to need to figure out a way to deal with this guy that does not involve me getting shot repeatedly. Do I get, like, a cool kill on him? No? Oh, he's healing. Okay. Can't have that. Especially since I can't. Sweet. Alright, I appreciate the fact that I can kind of just hide. <laughs> I keep trying to sprint, but this game just doesn't have a sprint, so... Whoa!
Ah, beautiful health. Oops. I tried to hack the health. I don't think that works. But you know what? You never know until you try, and I tried completely by accident. But I still tried. Alright, so we've cleared out most of the skags. And we just gotta find the big guys. There's somebody over here. There's no longer somebody over here. Sweet. Whoa! Whoa! I'm sorry, I'm... hang on. A what? I have an RPG. I... I have an RPG. Hey, how you doing? Hup. Okay, so I can't do damage to myself. Oh, I needed that level up. <laughs> what even is this? No, no, no. Sure. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. Alright, so, one into vital. And two into aiming this time. There we go. Just keep pumping up that health. All the health. Always health. It's just absurd. And I love it. Hey boss, am I am I in the right place? I see you there already. Hold the fort. We'll be arriving shortly. Hold the fort. Ah. Okay. Maybe I should be using an actual gun, but this is too much fun. Dude, something went wrong with the rabbits. Alright, we gotta deal with this the proper way. Ow! I got stuck! For you! I will bring out the big guns. I do not have a lot of health left here. Ow! Those were just some rings. 
He's coming out. He wants a world to know. Where are you? There. Meeting done. Raging success. The other bosses are on board. We'll begin coordinating our cluster SIs and redistributing vital supplies in a few hours. We still have plenty of work to do, but this is as good a start as we could hope for. But who the flaming fuck were those amped up flatliners? Damn it. I need more problems about as much as I need a rectum on my forehead. And yes, I know there are a few evolutionary dead ends like that around, but you get my drift. Someone's pinging me. Hang on. Pony here. Yes. Yes. No. Fuck. That was Admin Denker. While we were splooging all over ourselves here, someone went and grabbed a whole bunch of habbers. My habbers! Seems the attack here was a diversion for the kidnapping. I gotta get back. Don't stray too far! I have a feeling we'll need your help again soon. Okay. Hey, another level up. Level, level up, up. One in the vital. Two in the battery, body battery, so I could just blast a little bit more. <sighs> okay. Well, I do believe I'm going to go ahead and call it there. That was the first major mission of the game. Kind of gets you through the tutorial and makes you understand the intricacies of said game. But with that in mind, I thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you on the next exciting adventure. Adios.